Hey guys, Nurse Alyssa here. Today we are going to go over Dankin's solution. So how to make it and when to use it. Uh, but before we get started, if you could hit a like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. Dankin's solution is a mixture of unscented bleach, sterile water, and baking soda. Um, the solution can be used for wounds with or without undermining sinus tracts or tunnels and has a broad spectrum uh, antimicrobial action. Um, and it is used to debride wounds. So how to use the Dankin solution? So first we're going to clean the wound um, and peri wound with normal saline to remove as much um, slough, necrotic, debris out of the wound as possible. We're then going to pat dry the peri wound and apply a skin protectant barrier film to um, the peri wound. So a barrier film or zinc barrier around the edges of the wound to protect the skin. And then we are going to soak either plain ribbon packing or just plain gauze with the Dankin solution and wring out any excess solution. Um, it doesn't have to be saturated on there, just very like just damp on there um, so you're going to wring it out and gently pack or fill um, any undermining sinuses tunneling um, or just the wound cavity um, then we are going to apply an absorbent cover over top to maintain a moisture balance shows you how to make the Dankin solution. So normally we use uh, this column here because um, that is the safest um, on tissue. So um, for tissue toxicity, we want to use this one. Um, but if um, it's ordered through a physician, you're going to use whatever strength um, they have ordered. So for the amount that you're going to make, it shows it down the side here. So just depending on how much you need is how much you're going to make. Um, so probably just the 125 mils for the average wound. Um, and it shows you the ingredients and how much you need of each uh, to make that solution. Um, and it does that for all of them. And you can just go across for um, each each strength um, but I do suggest this column here and yeah just uh, go across and make it how you need it the frequency of the dressing change with Dankin solution is normally daily um, but you're gonna go off of whatever order you have so um, through your doctor, nurse practitioner, or wound care specialist. Um, it is normally daily to get rid of that necrotic tissue. Um, and you're going to continue using the Dankin solution until the percentage of necrotic tissue has decreased to a point where you can just use other cleansing methods or um, debriding methods. The expected outcome of using Dankin solution is that the wound would be debrided um, and free of necrotic tissue or biofilm within seven days. We're going to use the Dankin solution on wounds that have a high percentage of necrotic or slough, um, either with or without signs of local infection. Um, where we can use this for signs and symptoms of biofilm. So if a wound is suspected of having a biofilm, um, you can use this on that. Um, some precautions is um, it, it does have chlorine products, so it can cause um, skin irritation, swelling, or redness. Um, it is harmful if swallowed. Some contraindications is you're not going to use it if somebody has a sensitivity or allergy to chlorine. Um, we're not going to use it on wounds with granulation uh, wound beds. So if it has nice granulation, you would never use Dankin solution. Um, and do not use in combination with other cleansers or solutions such as acetic acid or iodine. Um, you just wanna flush out the wound with uh, normal saline and then you would use the Dankin solution. You're not gonna use it with any other antimicrobials. So that's all I have for this video. I'll catch you in my next one.